Golden Retrievers are great dogs. This is my dog, Bo. He's a good boy. First of all, you should know that. He's a big part of our family. But sadly, Bo and other Goldens have a 60% chance of developing cancer. The cancer rate among Goldens is one of the highest in the world. But some good news tonight, vets are working to try to change that. In my opinion, there is no sweeter breed. The American Kennel Club lists Golden Retrievers as the third most popular breed in the U.S. But sadly, there's a genetic flip side to the sweetness bred into them. Goldens are one of the breeds that we see that get a lot of cancer. One study on the causes of death in dogs found that cancer killed at least half the golden retrievers they sampled. For a period of time, there was a lot of interbreeding to create the golden retriever and all the other breeds. Veterinarian Cheryl London says goldens are more likely to develop four types of cancer, sometimes at an early age. Lymphoma. Hemangiosarcoma, a cancer of the blood vessels, osteosarcoma, or bone cancer, and mast cell tumors. Incidence of cancer begins to rise when you hit six years of age. It peaks around 10 to 12 and then starts to fall off. There's nothing veterinarians can do about decades of breeding of goldens like Bo here and the risk for cancer. I knew that going in, and I'm hoping he can live the longest and happiest life possible. But they are finding ways to find it sooner and to treat it. Just like with humans, owners have enrolled their sick pups into studies to search for more effective cancer treatments. How are you, Bailey? Six-year-old Bailey is suffering from a cancerous tumor compressing his spine. The MRI, we could see that there was this tumor that was actually arriving from a nerve that it was going all the way up into the spinal cord. The goal now is to shrink the tumor and then remove it. But already, Bailey can walk again and lift his head. <laughs> Scientific advances have made it much easier to foresee a future where we'll be far better at predicting which patients are going to get cancer and treating them earlier on. Meaning a lot more high fives for Bo. High five. And all the other beloved family pets out there. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's clear that Bo brings a lot of joy to you and your yeah. girls. Um, but so for those who own these types of dogs, what can be done to help prevent or slow down the cancer yeah, risk? Yeah, um, you know, can't really prevent the cancer, but can you prevent them from dying from cancer? Can you have them live a longer life? Well, mm -hmm. doctors uh, say, of course, keep your pet's weight in the normal range. You got to watch what you give them, not too many snacks. You can do a weekly check along their body for any new bumps or lumps. They say once they turn six, I kind of already do that right now, and of course have any new growths evaluated right away by a vet to make sure hopefully it is not cancer. Yeah.